At this very moment, in a system far from here, the new republic lies to the galaxy! Hello, and welcome to All Remaining Systems. Normally, this is a Star Wars podcast, but we got a bit of a different setup today. Because no, I mean, it's still a Star Wars podcast. Because we'll be playing Pictopia, the Star Wars, uh, the ultimate picture trivia family game, because we're family. So we have slightly modified the basic rules for this game. Uh, most of the basic rules still stand. Uh, we have to use little wager coins to uh, wager points. Because that's the only way you can make me play this game is by gambling. It's true. Gambling is very important to Star Wars because without it, Han Solo would have never gotten the Millennium Falcon. Right, and it's a very strong addiction. Remember, if you have problems with gambling, you can call a hotline for that. We would post the number, but that's a bit too much effort. Also, I don't know the number. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you know the number off the top of your head? Because I'm wrong? fine with my gambling addiction. <laughs> so basically, uh, the way this works is we roll a die, uh, and uh, one of five of the sides correspond to a question on these cards, uh, which may have one or more answers to them. We'll give you a closer view with uh, we get actual questions. Because uh, our camera guy is, like, too lazy to actually grab it and show you. Yeah, what's wrong with you, cameraman? We don't have a cameraman. Our tripod is clumsily set up at That's right, we don't have a cameraman. We don't see you as a person, Steve. Steve, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, you'll get... You'll just kind of see how this plays out as we go. Uh, the only other thing is there's one... Uh, symbol on the dice where if you land on that whoever's in first goes back one space that's about it the player with the next birthday is the host for the first turn <laughs> players take turns being the host going around clockwise is is this an actual thing with the next birthday yeah the player with the next birthday is the host for the next turn <laughs> okay so you'll be the one answering the question Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I'll tell you what, what we'll also do is we'll put all the cards we use aside, and I'm going to take pictures of all of them so I can edit it in if I have to. So well, don't tell them all of our secrets. I'm going to edit around this. Oh. You mean Kevin's going to edit them all out? We no. have a large, extensive crew. I'm the editor. Uh, okay. So Matt, or rather, I rolled a two for Matt. So, Matt's going to pick two of the ones listed on this card. Oh, and I get to bet. Yeah. Okay. Before I tell you the... Well, let's see. Small, Grievous, Vader, and Dooku. I know a good bit about them. I'll, I'll wager a five. A whole whopping five. You're not supposed to tell me what you wager to oh, me on. well... It, it really makes no difference if we're doing one-on-one, -on -one, so... Okay, I would wager a mystery five. Okay. Yeah, well, he doesn't know. Um, which two of these characters use probe droids to hunt down their targets? Well, Maul and Vader did. That is correct. So you move Yay. your boy up to five. Yay, and then I have to discard this chip. All right. Thank you. I'm going to keep doing that to him because his face gets really dark since he likes to wear hats inside. I look very sinister. Now he looks less sinister. <laughs> Maybe it'll help if I... It yeah, wipe if... that shadow off. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little shadow on my face. No, uh, it would help if I didn't wear a hat, but... Yeah, our makeup department applied too much shadow. Yeah. We darn also you, have one of those. Darn you, Sheila and uh, Courtney. Yeah. We're calling out all our crew tonight. <laughs> By the way, tonight I am drinking Dos Equis Amber. I don't know if I've actually ever... Uh, we haven't, probably haven't recorded anything since I turned 21, so... I don't drink. Well, I mean, I do, but like water. Not like alcoholic, anyway. Matt is currently drinking Cherry Pepsi. Actually, 
I'm drinking nothing at the moment. Oh, you drank it all. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, there's a little bit in there. Oh, and I get, yeah. Here's this little card thing. Let me just show. I'm gonna not look at the question. Okay, you see that? And we're, of course, gonna lay it on the side, so I don't know why I'd have to even show you the camera. Just for this, I, I, I haven't decided okay. how I'm gonna, how Kevin's gonna edit this. <laughs> right, right. How are you going to make Kevin edit this? Yes. Which two of these ships have been seen on the planet Tatooine? Well, there's already one that has uh, Tatooine in the picture, so that's easy to decide. It's going to be A and C, the Naboo ship and the Millennium Falcon. AC, alternating current. Yes, that is correct. I forgot to bet, but I bet five. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Wait, but you did not put it down. You didn't put it down. I didn't. No, you did not. So you could just be like, oh, I got it right. Ooh, Tell you what. Here's five. Tell you what. Cause, because I forgot, we're going to do the average. <laughs> that doesn't even... <laughs> no, because you could have gotten it wrong. Fine, like, well, you know what? It's a good thing I didn't bet. You know what? I'll do one, just because you're being finicky about it, all right? I mean, no, even that's too much. <laughs> that's literally the minimum amount possible. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and bet before I answer. That's a smart move. Okay, this is going to be a pretty easy one. Which one of these Jedi Masters is seen teaching younglings in the Jedi Temple? I'm going to go with B, Yoda. That's correct. Wow. I'm good. Okay. Right. Four... Okay, so go ahead and take a. Card. You don't know what that is, do you? No, that's one of the Force ones. That's oh, one okay. of the like, personal choice questions. Oh, it's personal. Uh, okay. Okay. Which one of these characters do I think would give the best speech? Oh my god. What would I think? I bet way too high on this. Um, okay, I'm ready. Okay. I went with A, Count Dooku. Wow, he got it. A. Hey, okay. I bet four points on that, so ah. I'm glad that worked out. Yeah. What the six whole points, boy? This this is a very simple game for family children that were Alcoholics. unable to. <laughs> I've had one beer, Matt. Leave me alone. Alcoholics. Oh, you go He's back one one on camera. Oh, oh, a whole whopping. Which one? Let me bet. <laughs> Okay. Which one of these places has a shield generator for the second Death Star? Wow. This one's really tough. I'm going to go with B, Endor. You're correct. Wow, and I bet a whopping three points. One, we also have faint three. Star Wars music playing on Spotify in the background, so if you hear that, don't block this video on copyright grounds. <laughs> Which... Of these droids are used by the Trade Federation and the Separatists. That's going to be A and C. That is correct. I got five points. I got five points. I got five points. <laughs> Which one of these scenes take place on Tatooine? Um, I'm going to say A, the one that's on Tatooine. <laughs> that's correct. You did it. Yay! I feel like we're not gonna bother even getting any of these wrong. I mean, I, we can't on purpose to make it interesting. <laughs> it's kind of a simple uh, trivia game. It's almost like it's intended for families, and we're adults. And <laughs> we take this but Star we're... Wars thing a little too seriously. Okay, I bet. Okay. Which three of these ships are seen in the Phantom Menace? That's going to be A, C, and D. That is correct. Which two of these characters take orders from Emperor Palpatine? I'm going to say A and D. That's correct. Wow. You know, this game's really not good. Which one of these fighters first appears in Return of the Jedi? Ooh, 
That's actually a pretty good one. Uh, I'm going to go with B. That is correct. The tie interceptor. The tie interceptor. So that's three points for me. Don't look at my betting coins. No. They're your wager coins. No. Don't look at my wedgie coins, okay? I hate this. Which two of these pairs are on Endor? I'm gonna go with C and D because they're both on Endor. Yep, you got it. And I will, I bet a whopping five points. Good job, buddy. It's a new hope, I'm feeling confident. Which three of these characters are shown holding lightsabers in a new hope? Uh, 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 it's gonna be a B, C, and a D. That is correct. Good thing I bet five points. It was, I could tell it was a new hope question, so. I felt confident because that's my favorite movie. Do you think the legal drinking age in Star Wars varies uh, for species like it does uh, for getting a driver's license? It does vary, according to the Jedi Prince books. No, that was the driver's license one. I was talking about drinking age. Oh, well, probably if it's for driver's license. Um, I'm going to bet a good solid amount here. Which three of these characters helped destroy the first Death Star? The first one? Yes. Wow. I thought this was going to be a very bullcrap question until I read first Death Star. Cause so, <laughs> B, C, and D. That's correct. Yay, and I bet four points. <laughs> wow, it's so different than before. Let me pick what I'm going to This one's bet. the hardest question in this entire game. Okay. Which one of these characters duels with Anakin Skywalker on Mustafar? On Mustafar. Let, let me try and remember which of these characters went to Mustafar. You see Obi-Wan. That's Misty. correct. Four points for me. That means you win, doesn't it? Means I reach 25, which means I have to get... A final question, right? So you pick one more card, and I do the solo pick one. And if I get it right, then I win. And of course, it's going to be on a card that he's going to know. <laughs> because it's Imperial Officers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one of these Imperial Officers is in command of the first Death Star? Let's see. I don't think Piet was... <laughs> Also was pretty clumsy and stupid, so that might make yeah. sense. That might there make sense. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Matt. A little higher up, a little higher. Yeah, that there we go. That's good contrast. Uh, let's see. If only Kevin would do his job right and set up the camera. And Captain like... Nita. Captain Nita was. You know what? I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it was Grand Moff Wilhuff Tarkin. That is correct. And he's won this incredibly tough Star Wars trivia game for children and families. Matt, this was disappointing. We're going to play a different trivia game. All right. Today we're going to be playing Star Wars trivia game. Okay, if it's trivia round. Can we actually get a mark on these things? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah. That's why I brought those paper towels, so that we can erase them. Oh, I thought that was in case we made messes with our snacks. No. But they're still snacks, right? No. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. So, okay. If you roll a Yoda, it's a trivia round. If you roll Darth Vader, it's a timeline round. Why they make these things like Fort Knox to get a marker? I know this is this is the worst box ever designed because we could not get all the timeline cards out. You I know, I bet this some of the I bet cards the out. like people who've made these games or whatever, like you know what, screw you guys. Good. <laughs> Pick another lightsaber because we we're gonna have to do two of these. The game's gonna be over way too quick if we just build one lightsaber. Do you agree? I don't agree. Okay. 
basically there's two types of questions trivia and timeline timeline have these little little pictures on them from one of the star wars movies and you try and put it in and place it correctly in the timeline don't mark my hand what is wrong with you that's permanent mark my words you will see my wrath man grab another lightsaber basically for everything you get right you get a little piece of mm -hmm. your character's lightsaber. And for everything you get wrong, you get the opposite of your character's lightsaber. Yeah, you have to add on someone else's lightsaber. What, no. What other lightsaber do you want? Uh, which one do you want? I mean, they're almost the same. I'll take Luke's. You, you build up your little lightsaber, and then when you finish it, you build the game. But it's going to be over way too quick if we do that, so we're going to build two lightsabers each. Another sense is Michael doesn't want me going home. <laughs> you don't need to go home. I need food. We'll run to, we'll run to Taco Bell. <sighs> that is a trivia round. So that means you get to answer this, Matt. Me. Okay, so go ahead and get your your card ready to write down. For which planet did Grand Moff Tarkin tell Admiral Mahdi to set the Death Star's course? Um. Matt, show them what you drew. I, I drew the all-seeing eye of the Republic. That's a good title for a book. That's separatist propaganda. There's paper towels right there for you to wipe that off. Nope, I am an animal. What planet? Yes. I guess I could give you the answers. Is it A, Alderaan, B, Tatooine, C, Nantooine, or D, Onderon? I'm gonna say Alderaan. You're correct. You get a lightsaber piece. Yay! I literally didn't have to write anything down. Yeah, you don't really have to in a one-on-one -on -one game. So. I'm not writing anything down, then. These, these muscles were for not. It's also a very poorly made die because it's just like... Stickers. A poorly taped on sticker on each side. Oof. They're not the best graphics in the world on them. Not particularly. A Vader, what does that mean? That means it's a timeline round. So you get to take a timeline card and place it in the timeline. Uh, so I guess we have to start with one already on the play playing board. So we got uh, Luke's crash landing on Dagobah. So, all right, now you got it place the next card in the timeline. Matt, where do you think uh, Yoda doing the thing goes? Yoda needs to take the X-Wing out of it, so I'm going to say it happens after the crash. All right, you can flip it over and see if you're right. Wow, wow. he was right. I'm so right. Do, do I get a lightsaber point? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so everyone has a, a chance to do the timeline thing, oh. so. All right. Millennium Falcon crew seek refuge in Cloud City. That's after. Yeah, these are directly after one another. These need to be shuffled a little better. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the Jedi Temple food was like? Great. I don't think so. Uh, which R1 units was among the droids taken by Imperial Stormtroopers after they searched the sand crawler that R2-D2 and C-3PO had been on? Was it A, R2-G2, B, R1-G4, C, R4-G3, or D, R6-G6? Oh, jeez, wait, what? Was this Is that in, your final answer? Was this in the movie? What? what? Okay, so... I, I got no clue. Ask the question again? Which R1 unit was among the droids taken by Imperial Stormtroopers after they searched the sand crawler that R2-D2 and C-3PO had been on? Okay, and read them off again? 
A, R2, G2, B, R1, G4, C, R4, G3, or D, R6, G6? You want to say R1, G4. You're correct. Yay! Because it's the only R1 yeah. unit among the list. Yeah. Saying R1 unit really did kind of give it away. Yeah. What did Luke Skywalker notice about R2-D2 as he was cleaning him on the Lars homestead? A. He was dirty. B. <laughs> he had worn treads. C. He had a lot of carbon scoring. D. His servo motor was faulty. These are the questions. I thought A New Hope was my favorite movie. Um... C, carbon scoring. That's correct. Okay, that's what I thought. Because he was asking, like, you got a lot of this. Are you, have you been in a battle or something? I think. I don't know. Okay. Darth that's Vader. a timeline round, so you got to put stuff in the timeline. Where does Qui-Gon meet Jar Jar? In this timeline? Yeah. Like, way before... You're correct. Wow. Okay. You I know what? I'm going to start taking these from a random place in the deck because I didn't shuffle these very well. Okay. Victory celebration. I'm going to say that's at the end of Return of the Jedi, so that's way down here. Yep. So we each get a... Yay. Another timeline round. Okay. And then this Vic time you start. Yep. Will we ever see each other again? That's going to go in episode one land. Yay. And then since you pick from middle, I'm also going to pick from middle. Ooh, he's not finished yet. I'm going to say you promised that, that me flesh. happens before he says goodbye to his mother. We're getting these in like chunks of movies. We got three Empire, three Phantom, and one Return. It's raining outside. On what level of the Death Star was Princess Leia being held prisoner? A, level 5, B, level 4, C, level 3, D, level 6. Level 4. Is that your final answer? Yes. That's incorrect. I had no idea. Okay. It was level 5. Alright, now it's your turn to get asked a question. This is like the first trivia game that we've ever missed a question. Well, because some of these are... Yeah, the, that's the, true. The range of difficulties one is, on these are yeah. crazy. This one, yeah. Because I didn't know about the R units until one of them just had an R1. In there. Yeah. Uh, what did Yoda tell Luke Skywalker about his father? A, he was a great friend. B, he was a Sith Lord. A Sith Lord? C, he was the best star pilot in the galaxy. Or D, he was a powerful Jedi. I'm going to say D. You're correct. Because Sith wasn't mentioned in... Nope, not in the original trilogy. So, so I get a lightsaber. You get a saber. <laughs> Is it me or you? No, I can't remember. I think it's me. Yep, yeah, it's you. Oh boy, trivia! Who attacked R2-D2 and disabled him as he was traversing the rocky canyons of Tatooine? Do you even need the answers? Who attacked R2-D2? And disabled him as he was traversing the rocky canyons of Tatooine. I mean, I mean, it could be the, the Jawas. You're correct. It's the Jawas. Wow. Let's go ahead and ask me one. Of whom was Darth Vader speaking when he said he will join us or die? Luke Skywalker. Correct. That's a saber boy. Timeline. Timeline. And I'm just gonna... Be careful, because I think some of them are upside down. So they have the answer face up. So oh, yes. don't pick one of those. <laughs> yeah, that one says answer on it. Okay, timeline. Qui-Gon battles Darth Maul. I'm going to say that that happens after Annie says bye. You're correct. Well... I'm going to take this one. Did you hear that? That goes right there. Yep. So we both get a point. Okay. The Wampa loses its arm. That goes right there. Wow. Wow. I thought that was your stomach at first, and I was like, ew. Obi-Wan and Anakin chase an assassin. 
That happens after the fight with Qui-Gon. Wow, we both did. We got a new movie. Yeah. Trivia. Ask me something. What I does ATST stand for? Give me the options, please. <laughs> a, all terrain scout transport. B, all terrain single transport. C, assault trooper security transport. D, all terrain security tank. Give me A and B again, real quick. All terrain scout transport. All terrain single transport. All terrain scout transport. That is correct. Yay. How did Queen Amidala and her troops enter the city to retake the palace from the Trade Federation? A. They used the secret passage on the waterfall side of the city. B. They used the secret passage directly into the palace. C. They used a secret passage through the swamp. D. They used a secret passage through the sewer. I'm going to say by the waterfall. You are correct. Yay! <laughs> Is it me or you now? I, I've lost track. Matt's built his first lightsaber. I'm still a little behind. I rolled. Okay. Timeline round. The Jedi Council questions Anakin... That's going to go right there. Wow. Um, Written a lot of Phantom Menace ones. Padme and Anakin's wedding. Ew. <laughs> Icky, gross girls. That, Not in my style. That Star happens Wars. at the end of episode two. You're correct. I guess I should give myself a point for that. Maybe you forgot to give yourself a point with it. I probably line. did. Because I thought you only missed one thing. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself one more. Alright, I'm fine with that. What was Derek Clivian's nickname? Was it A. Lurdo, B. Hobby, C. Pee Wee, or D. Turner? Excuse me? <laughs> going to go with Turner? Incorrect, it was Hobby. All right. Timeline. Who was that? I think Hobby's one of the X-Wing pilots. I could be wrong. Count Dooku escapes the arena. I'm going to say that goes right here in episode two. Boy, howdy. Anakin has a nightmare. I'm just going to pull this off okay. the top. Um, I'm going to say that that's episode three due to the fact that that's episode three again. And I'm going to put it over here. In the episode three area, which we're just now making. So I guess we both get a point for that. Yeah. Which weapon did Snowtroopers take time to set up in an attempt to stop the Millennium Falcon from blasting out of Echo Base? Go ahead and give me the answers if you would. A. A Mirasan Munitions PLX-2M. B. A Blastech E-Web Heavy Repeating Blaster. C. A Tenlos DXR-6 Disruptor, or D, a Mirsan CR-24 Flame Rifle? B. That's correct. I didn't think I would know that one. Who made sure that Yoda got to his escape pod on Kashyyyk? Is this a trick question where there's more than one? There's two. Yeah, two. I know that there's two uh, okay. names. A, Tarful and Chewbacca. B. Tarful and Guanta. C. Chewbacca and Guanta. D. Tarful and Lachichuk. I'm gonna say A. Tarful and Chewbacca. You're correct. Yay! That's pretty easy. Yeah. Because he even says goodbye, Tarful. Goodbye, goodbye Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Okay, trivia. Hmm. <laughs> what happened to Anakin Skywalker during his battle with Count Dooku? Well, I mean. A, he lost his left arm. B, he lost his right arm. C, he lost his left leg. D, he lost his right leg. He lost his right arm. That's correct. <laughs> Have we in canon seen... Never mind. Seen what? I almost asked a stupid question. Ask it. 
I was going to say, if we ever saw someone lose their legs in a lightsaber duel, and the obvious answer is Darth Maul. But that wasn't like a direct severing of a leg. That's just a complete bisection. I mean, we saw Anakin lose his legs with Obi-Wan. True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, ah. Right, yeah, you're right. How did Shmi Skywalker get sold into slavery? Give me the answers if you would. A, she was born a slave. B, her parents sold her. C, pirates captured and sold her. Or D, she was stolen from an orphanage. C, pirates captured and stole her. That's correct. Captured and stole, or captured and sold her, not stole her. Whatever. I mean, that's kind of the same thing. It is the same thing. That would be a a good statement. (laughs) Timeline. So you go first. Pick something not off the top, please, because that's directly <laughs> after the. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> the caption on this one is just. <laughs> Peace. We're gonna say that goes at the end of episode one. You're correct. I, I'm gonna take this one off the top now. He's no good to me, Dan. Oh, I wanted that one. That's gonna go right here. Yep. That's where it goes. Matt, I hate you. That's a little harsh. Comment below if you thought that was harsh. Comment below if you also hate Matt. Jar Jar's clumsiness saves the day. That is the title of a children's book. Gonna say that happens before Qui-Gon's duel. Wait. Yeah, because there is the... See, this is where it gets tough is when you have a bunch of them already out. And they're upside down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it happens right in between here. Oh! oh! You don't get a point for that, no. bud. I didn't. Okay, so it was after Qui-Gon's duel? Really? Yeah, apparently so. I thought for sure that, like, Qui-Gon was still dueling during that battle. It's... There's four things going on during that climax, so I would probably have gotten that wrong, too. Go ahead and put it in the proper place. Just don't give yourself a point for it. All right. Darn. So there you are. That, that might be my opportunity to catch up. Trivia. Trivia. Oh, my gosh. How did the droid stay on the back of Luke Skywalker's land speeder during travel? A, magnetic clamps. A, magnetic clamps. Got it. What did Luke Skywalker tell Han Solo he was going to investigate on Hoth? A, a wampa. B, a meteorite. C, a probe droid. Or D, an uncharted settlement. I'm going to say a meteorite. That's correct. But I think this that's actually a really good trivia question. Like, that that's a really balanced and fair one. Timeline. No. No, that's not true. That's impossible. I haven't seen her in ten years, Master. 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 That happens before they get in this mess that Padme put them in. I kind of Anakin put them in it. Hmm. Anakin's the one who did it, because Obi-Wan was all, we will not exceed our mandate. Yeah, should have just killed her. Shouldn't have exceeded your mandate, Obi-Wan. Trivia. Trivia. Who rescued Luke Skywalker from the Tusken Raiders? A, Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was Obi-Wan. It was Obi-Wan. Okay. Yep. I was going to say Ben Kenobi, and that would have mean I got it wrong. Uh, what creatures do Tusken Raiders ride? A. Eopies. B. Banthas. Banthas. Yeah, you're right. (laughs) 
I'm so sorry, Matt. <laughs> oh, no. How old was Mace Windu during the Battle of Naboo? Was he A, 38, B, 40, C, 48, or D, 50? What were the options? A, 38. I'm going to say A, 38. Incorrect. It was 40. Okay. I would like to see a line in Star Wars where it's like, Oh, 40 you are. <laughs> Too old to begin the training. <laughs> Birthday of happy. Okay, go ahead. Give me a horrible question. After a jolt, what did C-3PO tell Han Solo was quite possible about the asteroid in which they had landed the Millennium Falcon? Give me the options. Okay. A, it was too porous to be safe. B, it was not entirely stable. C, the Empire would find them quickly. Or D, it was going to collide with another asteroid and destroy them. After a jolt. That's a weird way of putting it. Um, Do you remember the scene? I, I vaguely remember the scene. I've like only seen this film bombing a few thousand times. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with, oh, man, I'm going to go with not entirely stable. That's correct. Okay. Dang it. He's winning now. Just barely. You'll have time to catch up. Trivia. Trivia. What did Echo Station 3T8 report that they had spotted? A, Imperial Walkers, B, a Meteorite, C, a Probe Droid, D, a Wampa. I'm going to say the Walkers. That's correct. Yay. That was a tough one. Good job. Oh, my gosh. With whom did Obi-Wan Kenobi study during his exile on Tatooine? Qui-Gon. That's correct. I wasn't sure if that was going to be the obvious answer or, like, a dumb, like, obscure EU answer. <laughs> like, Watt Tambor. Yeah, he said he was Watt Tambor. Um, I think it's your one now? Trivia. Yeah. Give me a tough one. I I'm going to say for this last one, I have to answer all questions correctly on a trivia card. Gonna get it. Well, yeah, give me all the, the questions so that way it's difficult for your final question. Okay. Where is an ATAT's vulnerable point? A, its sensor array, B, its neck, C, its drive motor, or D, one of its escape hatches? That will be its neck. Which manufacturer was responsible for unleashing the horror of the executor on the galaxy? A, Subpro Cooperation, B, Quat Systems Engineering, C, Frytech Incorporated, or D, Quat Drive Yards? Quat Drive Yards. Correct. Where did Obi-Wan Kenobi tell Luke Skywalker to go to? A, back to Echo Base. To the Dago B, Bus system. That's correct. And you won. Yeah. Do you want to go ahead and answer one, or do you want to be done with this? I'm done. Okay. You win. <laughs> I won. I got... I'm a big loser. He's got it two was close, sabers. Though. I've just got the one. Ah, <laughs> this is not a sturdy. Ah, oh no! Ah, ah. I have been. Oh no! We we're both killed by flaccid lightsabers. <laughs> now one with flaccid the foam sabers. Okay, so with all this being said and done. Remember to support your local first order. Down with you resistance scum. Many Bothans died to bring you this video. And all remaining systems will bow. To the first order. To the first order. To the first order. The first order. The first order? The first order? First order. The first order is coming here. We shall double our efforts. That's funny. That's pretty funny.